We're going to be back in about this much. But let's meet the Yardbirds first, okay? How did you get your name, the Yardbirds? Well, I, I, I found it, actually, you know. Apparently it means uh, uh, hobo or bum, you know. And four years ago we were... <laughs> Have you, has the group changed much, you know, in, in, in personnel? They've changed you know, much? Yeah. There's only, yeah, there's only three original members, actually. It's myself and Jim and Chris. Is London really the swinging city it's supposed to be? Yes. You've been, you, well, you've traveled around the world and you've seen a lot of cities by now. As a yeah. city. Do you, I think in comparison really with the other cities? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. 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 You know, nightlife I think everyone would enjoy it, I think, who went there. Yeah. It's changed its character a lot, you know since it got that name, but it's still, it's still yeah. pretty good. It's got so many facets, you know, it's a, there's the old worldy part, you know, like the Tower of London and all the, the sites, and then, then there's the, the new sites like Carnaby Street and Mini Skirts. Yeah. <laughs> it's so young now, you know. Well, what, what do you find the difference between the British and the American audiences? Um, well, I, I'd say the British, I mean, I I'm not attacking them, but they, the, obviously what with the English scene being so big within the last three years, two or three years, and yet it, it even been, you know, bigger before that. Um, they've become so saturated that um, they don't really show very much appreciation, even though they are liking it, you know. Um, you don't get the big sort of um, riot things and mobbing the stage anymore. I mean, that's just finished completely. Have you any ambitions? Unfulfilled? Yeah, well, I'm making a film. On your own? Yeah. Well, yeah. What is it? Is With it equipment. A... Oh, it's just a sort of system of events, you know. <laughs> it's not finished yet, started. What inspired you to go into film? Was it, was it, uh, Blur? Um, I suppose in a way subconsciously it could have had a lot to do with it, yeah. But, um, I've always been interested in movie making and, uh, as an amateur, and I started to buy sort of professional equipment, which cost a fortune. You're asking what we did with our money. <laughs> and that's, a, you know, I'm just going to, as soon as we get some free time, I'm going to really hammer into it. Yeah. No, no, no. How long do you think you can go on the, the way you are, you know, as being the yard words, being popular and so on? And what, what, do you, what, what happens after that? I suppose with the markets that are available abroad, one could go on working in East Borneo for years, you know. But uh, as regards future plans, I should imagine, I'd, and it's hard to put a target, one could say yeah. two years or say, you know, 